Express 7 cos x minus 24 sin x in the form r cos x plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha lies between 0 and 2 pi, give the value of alpha to 3 dp. Hence, write down the minimum value of 7 cos x minus 24 sin x. Solve for x between 0 and 2 pi the equation 7 cos x minus 24 sin x equals 10, giving your answers to two decimal places. So let's have a look at this, then I'll summarize the question above. So let's look at the first thing here. So we need to write 7 cos x minus 24 sine x in the form r cosine x plus alpha. And we know what that equals. That equals, put it here, r cos of a plus b is cos cos. And then it's minus, put the r, because it's r lots of, sine sine. So that's what we've got then. So now we can equate the values. For the cosine, 7 is r cos alpha. So that tells us then that r cosine alpha is equal to 7 from the first thing, equating the cosine coefficient. And the 24, the minus is okay, but the 24 is equal to r sine alpha, isn't it? So our sine alpha is equal to 24. These are our two equations in two unknowns which we can now solve. So r squared then, if we square this and square this, we'll get r squared cos squared plus r squared sine squared, which adds up to just one lot of r squared using the trig property. And then we've got 7 squared plus 24 squared, which we know to be a 7, 24, 25 triangle. So we can write 25 squared. Square rooting now gives r on the left is equal to the square root of 25 squared is 25. You can use a calculator on this, of course, if you forget the 7, 24, 25 property. So there's r. So now we need to get uh, alpha. So divide 2 by 1 and we'll get tan, won't we? 2 divided by 1 then gives... So sine over cosine is tan alpha. Will equal, on the other side, it's 24 over 7. So now we can work out alpha. So I'm going to move it up slightly now. So that tells us that alpha is equal to tan to the minus 1, inverse tan, of 24 over 7. So let's have a look at that then. Shift tan. So I'll move my calculator over here. And shift tan 24 divided by 7. And we're in radians mode, 1.287 to 3 dp. 1.287 radians and that was to three decimal places if we look back up let's just check we've answered the question uh, we've done that we found r and we found alpha which is an acute angle and alpha is to 3dp so that's fine so that's good okay part b now hence write down its minimum value so part b so Minimum is, now if we look at this R cos, so let's write it down, shall we, explicitly. The minimum of, and it's 25, wasn't it? 25 cosine x plus 1.287 radians, x plus alpha, is, now the cosine function simply varies from 1 to minus 1, it oscillates. So when you scale it up by a factor of 25, it's just going to simply oscillate between 25 and minus 25, isn't it, as it goes along. So the minimum value will, of course, be minus 25. So we've written that down. Solve this trig equation, then equals 10 to 2 dp for x between 0 and 2 pi. So let's have a look at c. So here, we can write down this value here then, 25 cosine x plus 1.287 is equal to 10. So that tells us then that cosine x plus 1.287 equals 10 over 25. Move the 25 from to divide, times to divide on the other side. 10 over 25 is 2 fifths or 0 0.4. So there's our trig equation then for part c. Let's have a look at this. So draw a circle. 
We're solving between 0 and 360, aren't we? So there's our circle, right cast. Cos is positive here and here. So draw two lines and mark off the associated acute angle. It has the same symbol alpha in this context. So this is the associated acute angle now. Cos alpha is equal to, and right, that's 0.4. So alpha will equal to then shift cos 0.4. So shift cos cos 0.4. What do we get? 1.159. Let's keep it to 3 dp to start with then. Then we'll round off to 2 dp at the end. 1.159. So there's alpha. So x plus the 1.287n. <coughs> so let's find out what that equals. This implies. So our first angle is round to here, isn't it? There's the first angle in question. This is the angle, the cosine of the angle. So I've written it down here. And this angle is equal to the alpha 1.159. Hopefully we haven't gone outside of range. If we have, we'll worry about it in a moment. And the other value, x plus 1.287, is the angle of the cosine, which corresponds to this angle here, is obtained by going around the circle, around 360, back the angle alpha. So it's equal to 2 pi radians then, back the alpha 1.159. So that tells us then, so, what do we infer for the x values here? First of all, it's 1.159, and then we move this 1.27287 over to become a minus. But we notice that this is now negative. Our region is from north, final answer must be between 0 and 360, so we need to add a full turn, don't we, to get it back in range. And the other solution, <coughs> we'll have. Uh, minus 1.159 then it's minus when you move this over the 1.287 and then we've already got a 2 pi there which we we've got to add on in that case as well it's already there so let's tap these in the calculator then we've got 1.159 minus 1.287 plus 2 times pi um, times shift pi, there we go, 6.155, but our answer has to be to 2dp, so it's 6.16, and that's radians, and that's the two decimal places. Okay, a bit worried about that, because that's, yeah, that's okay, that's within the range, isn't it, because it's 2 pi is 6.2 uh, 6 something, so we're in the range. And this one now, let's get the other value. So instead of plus 1.159, the only difference is that this is a minus. So why don't we just toggle back, put a minus in there, and we get 3.84, don't we, to 2dp, 3.84. And that's radians to two decimal places.